hello welcome back today I want to share something with you because I am a very focused person and I have goals and very organized and very methodical but something happened to me as of late and it is so easy to get sidetracked and let me back off a little bit so I want to share this because I feel that it is so important for us to remember what's important and for us to remember what we have to do. So as chronic fatigue patients, we are number one and we are our own priority. But the day to day comes and it's so easy to get sidetracked. So even though I have a plan, even though I have a routine, what happened to me is that I wanted to have more resting time, okay? And that resting time, I filled it up with several things. And most of the time I catch up with the news or I catch up with random YouTube videos. I don't know what happened, how, when, but next thing I know, I'm paying attention to all the coronavirus news what's happening with Trump, which by the way, I don't care, and politics, and don't get me started. There was one video about the dam, the Three Gorges Dam in China, why? And it was like, oh no, the, the dam will collapse. Next thing I know, every day I'm like, oh, did the dam collapse today? It's mind blowing. So anyways, I found, videos from 10 years ago where they're like okay the dam is collapsing today and then i realized that they do these daily videos on the dam and it's really not collapsing and if it does i mean i do care about the people and i'm sorry but how does that help me with my situation right so anyways i just wanted to share with you how even when we are focused and stuff things can get out of hand rather quickly. So anyways, I then realized and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm getting like, I have to do this and I have to watch this video and I have to know what happened in the makeup world. And I know, and next thing I know, I'm spending so much time on bull crap and YouTube is like a hole that you go in and never get out. And, and I'm like, whoa, 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 stop. Okay. So, Yes, we have to divide the tasks into smaller things. Yes, we have to have downtime, but we have to be so careful that downtime doesn't become a new thing that we have to keep up with. And I'm going to reevaluate myself and I like learning, like I told you, and I'm spending some time learning about finances just because I want to be financial liter literate but nothing to do with anything that I need to do or anything. So my day of learning will go probably to that. And I experience relaxation with music. So I should refocus and just listen to music or watch something training related to music or, you know, I don't know, whatever. But even my downtime i'm gonna have to structure so i don't get sidetracked again and i am not in this spiral of i don't even know what just happened and especially when i am down um is that i have discovered you know like when i am uh, passing out a lot i tend to do more and lay down more but that doesn't mean that it's not time that can be more structured and uh, put to better use. So I'm gonna get my resting time again. I'm gonna back off and I'm gonna restructure it also. And that might not sound that good, but I, I just noticed that if I leave it to me and it's just an open thing, I get sidetracked and I'm not learning about um, health. So. If I'm gonna help myself, I could be researching or watching videos on colitis recovery, maybe sleep issues, 
uh, hypermobility, how people cure hyper, no, but you can, but you know what I'm saying? Like investing in myself. And even if it's downtime, I could be learning on things that will get me out of the hole, not things that don't add nothing because we get to a point where we have it's okay to give and it's okay to be part of society but when you are surviving it's not the time to invest your time on campaign or what the heck is happening here or there because we have so little of ourselves to give to ourselves that we cannot invest it in anybody else we can barely keep up with ourselves right now right so it's so easy to lose priority of ourselves and anyway so i will refocus like i told you in my update uh exercise is not going that well so i will try to be more and that's another thing i didn't tell you if it, it feels so bad because everybody has been sick and they get better so my sister she had um open heart surgery and she got replacement of the valve anyways she couldn't even walk from here to the door and now she's like running 10 miles and i'm like what so she slowly did cardio rehab and she is in a very good place right now it took her a year yet i've been trying for 10 years and i'm happy for my sister but i get so frustrated because everybody gets like about to die cancer i have like my dad about died in a hospital 40 days in icu he's okay and you know leaving and kicking in my sister it was very scary she's kicking she even got coronavirus and she survived it and she's okay and i'm in the hole still fighting okay and i see all these people get better and go on with their lives and i'm in the same hole and that is so frustrating right especially when i am working so darn hard <sighs> sorry rant um so anyways i just wanted to share that so i'm going to even if it kills me be more consistent about exercise and leaving it for the night is not working so that's what the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna wake up now earlier go to bed earlier and get that done and if i cannot move for the rest of the day at least i got it done and it's my first priority so my rehab will come first that's what I'm going to do first thing when I wake up is my rehab. So I'm going to do a little bit of cardio, cardio rehab. So I'm going to walk flat slowly and increase very, very slowly and maintain my anaerobic threshold under, um, sorry, my heart rate under my anaerobic threshold. And if I am resting in the couch because I can do nothing, I will be watching videos on colitis recovery how people get better on some something to do with my health and improving my life and for when i don't want to hear anything about health i will invest my time on financial learning and financial things so anyways i hope this is helpful please refocus and you come first and we have to like be careful not to this is amazing to me, you know, because I have this plan and every day I am so careful about my time and next thing I know all this is happening and I'm spending all this time and it's like, what? Um, especially with the Trump coronavirus things because I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch the news. You sit there. He's like half an hour late or something and then like those things last forever. Next, time, next thing you know, I have spent an hour and a half on the briefing <sighs> what just happened to me i feel so frustrated that that just i let that happen anyways i'm taking control of my life back and i hope you do too thank you so much for watching i hope this is helpful and if you haven't please subscribe it really helps if you can do anything else just by subscribing you help and rest well